breaking news here on Texans today as the Houston Texans have re-signed kicker Kaimi Fairbairn before the start of NFL free agency. Texans already making some big moves before free agency begins next week. So I already told you, Texans players, Texans people inside the organization watch these videos. So if Kaimi comes across this video, I just want to congratulate you on everything you've done for the Texans and moving forward your contract that you just signed. So if you could go down right now, go hit the like button to congratulate Kaimi Fairbairn. If he comes across this video, I don't want him to come across the video and it only has 200, 300 likes of people congratulating him. Go down and hit that like button and congratulate the Houston Texans kicker, Kaimi Fairbairn, on his brand new contract with the Houston Texans. Now coming up, we're going to be breaking down some more of round Kaimi Fairbairn, what the contract numbers are, but this is why you subscribe to the channel for breaking news as soon as it happens. All throughout free agency, throughout the 2024 NFL draft, we have you covered here on this channel. So don't miss a beat. Go down and hit that sub button. Now getting right into it. Kaimi Fairbairn signed a three-year contract worth $15.9 million a year, an annual value of around $5.3 million. His career stats, very impressive. 87.1 career field goal percentage and a career uh, 92.4 on extra points. Seven-year career in the NFL, all with the Houston Texans. Kaimi Fairbairn has made, it, made a name for himself as the Texans kicker. Obviously, last season, he missed some time, and the Texans really, really needed him. They actually lost a game on, an, on a last-second field goal that was missed by uh, Matt Amendola, where Kaimi Fairbairn, I believe if he was in the game, would have made that kick to send that Jags game to overtime. So my question is to you, a lot of people, even one of my coworkers, Thomas Downey, says that kickers aren't, impor aren't an important part of the game. Kicking is very easy. Anybody, you know, Anybody can be a kicker, basically. So my question to you is, how far of a field goal could you make? Let me know down in the comments section. Could you make a 20-yarder or a 25-yarder? Do you think kicking is easy? Let me know down in the comments section. How far of a field goal do you think you could make? Coming up, I'm going to let you know my grade for the Kaimi Fairbairn contract with the Houston Texans. But this is going to be the pinned comment. So I want to know from you, how far of a field goal could you make? Now, in terms of the contract, I would give it a B plus. Kaimi is, in my opinion, one of the top kickers in the National Football League. And when you have a guy like that, you want to lock him up for years to come. The Texans gonna be start gonna start making some moves here in NFL free agency. I really believe their Super Bowl window has started now while they have CJ Stroud on a rookie deal. So one less thing you have to worry about in getting Kaimi Fairbairn for the next three seasons. And his stats last year in 12 games. He looked fantastic. A field goal percentage of 96.4. He only missed one field goal all of last season, and it was a 50-plus yarder. He went five for six on 50-plus yard field goals. Only missed one extra point, so 95.5% on extra points, and a long of 54. He has a career long of 61, so he has a really good leg as well. And this new contract for Kaimi Fairbairn puts him in the top five of kickers getting paid this year on a per-year basis. He's fourth in the NFL. Justin Tucker, as he should be, best kicker of all time, in my opinion, getting $6 million a year. Matt Gay, 5.6. Graham Gano at 5.5. And then Kaimi Fairbairn slots in there at number four at $5.3 million. And as I mentioned earlier, the Texans missed him really bad in the games that he missed this past season. So if we can get a healthy Kaimi Fairbairn moving forward, especially for these playoff runs. I mean, how many playoff games, how many of these pivotal games are decided by last second field goals or feel like, you know, just a couple points, a lot. So to have a guy that you are confident in, to have a guy that, you know, is sure footed and that you have the confidence in to go in and make big kicks in big time situations, that is invaluable in my opinion. And I think it's a fair contract for both sides. Kanye Fairbairn is a top five kicker. The Texans say, all right, we're going to give you top five kicker money. I don't think he's the best kicker in the NFL, but I do think he is deserving of that money that he got in this contract. Now, coming up, Texans already making some moves. They signed, they re-signed Dalton Schultz. Now they re-signed Kaimi Fairbairn. I'm hearing some rumors, some reports that they might not be done re-signing some of their own guys. Now, they had the most free agents this offseason out of any team in the National Football League with more than 30 
guys hitting free agency. So I'm going to tell you three guys who are most likely to re-sign moving forward as we creep closer to NFL free agency. But guys, if you haven't already subscribed, I don't know what you're doing. We're the fastest growing Texans channel on YouTube. So if you want free daily videos, this is your place to be. And my promise to you is go down and hit that sub button. If you don't like it in a week, you can unsubscribe. It's 100% free. No, no dust off your back. But all I'm asking you is to give me a chance. Let me prove to you why we are the number one Texans channel on YouTube and your number one provider for Texans news and rumors throughout the entire year. Not only the off season, not only the regular season, the entire year. Now, here are three guys who I think the Texans could also re-sign as we get into NFL free agency. First off, being the running back, Devin Singletary. Nick Casario at the NFL Combine talked about the running back market in free agency, saying that the Texans like a lot of the guys that are out there on the open market, but also showing praise to Devin Singletary and what he was able to do last year. Same with D'Amico Ryans, saying, hey, when we sat down with Singletary this past offseason, we knew that he had that dog in him, and he was a really good runner of the football. He showed it last year, even though in that final game against the Ravens, he wasn't able to get anything going. I don't think they bring him back in a role to be their starting running back or be you know, the workhorse back, but I could see if Devin Singletary doesn't get a lot of offers out there, the Texans saying, hey, we'll bring you back on another one-year contract, three, four, five million dollars. We'll bring you back to H-Town, run it back with you in the running back room. I could definitely see that happening. The second guy, Jonathan Grenard, there's been mutual interest, reports from Aaron Wilson and others that these both these sides want to get a deal done, want a reunion in Houston. So I could see Jonathan Grenard signing with the Texans, but the only hiccup with that is Daniil Hunter off the market, went back to the Minnesota Vikings on a one-year deal. Brian Burns and Josh Allens, the other two top edge rushers in this class, both got franchise tags. So when it comes to edge rushers, Bryce Huff for the Jets is another good option, but Jonathan Grenard might be on the top of some team's list, and he might be sitting there looking and saying, hey, I can get a lot of money in free agency this year. So it all depends on his market and what teams are willing to give him. But if it's a fair deal, I think the Texans would love to have Grenard back on a, an extension with this team. And the last guy is Blake Cashman, the linebacker. He, now, I've mentioned he will have some suitors as well going into NFL free agency. He is expected to hit the NFL free agency market. There's a lot of good linebackers as well. Patrick Queen, Frankie Louvu, to name a couple. But Blake Cashman had his best year of his entire NFL career under D'Amico Ryans and this Texans defensive staff. So I would love to see what he would be able to do coming back. But if not, the Texans might have their sights set on a couple other linebackers. We mentioned Aziz Al Shire, his connection with D'Amico Ryans. There's some reports that there's some mutual interest between those two sides. So we'll have to see what linebacker the Texans choose, either in free agency or the draft, or maybe they just let Henry Toa Toa and Christian Harris Cook going into next season. Now, that's all I have for you on today's program. Go down and hit that sub button and stay tuned. Make sure you have your notifications turned on as well. Go down and hit the bell so when we drop a video, you're the first one to be notified. You don't want to be the last one to know about the Kaimi Fairbairn re-signing news. That, that would be embarrassing. So go down and hit that sub button for daily Texans news and rumors content as we get ready for one crazy week in NFL free agency.